Kelly Dean and today I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. We're going to be making a lovely side dish from the sweet potato. This is also called the batata in some parts of the world. Now there are many varieties of the sweet potato. Now I'm not going to go into the scientific names for you but if you observe what, when you peel it one of them will be white and the other one will be orange. We're going to be using the white sweet potato or the white batata today to make today's recipe, pineapple sweet potato pie. So let's go over the ingredients. We have two pounds of sweet potatoes. Now these are already cooked. Now I would have removed the skin. Then I would have cut them into smaller pieces because sweet potatoes can come in various sizes. Cut them into smaller pieces. Then we're going to cook them until tender, about 15 to 20 minutes. So here we have it, two pounds of cooked sweet potatoes. And we have one small can of crushed pineapple, about 432 grams. We have some pineapple slices. And to spice things up, we have half tablespoon of nutmeg, half tablespoon of cinnamon, and half tablespoon of brown spice. And for decoration, we have a couple of cherries, we have two tablespoons of butter to cream it with. We have one tablespoon of milk. And this is the game changer. One tablespoon of molasses. Now after this video, you absolutely cannot make sweet potato pie unless you have molasses. One tablespoon of molasses. This is a game changer. Our first step is to crush our sweet potatoes. So to make it easier, I'm going to add the milk. Then I'm going to add the butter and as the sweet potatoes are still hot, it shouldn't take too much effort and too much elbow grease to get them crushed. Now, if you wait until they have cooled down, they will start to harden. But know that they would have just come off of the stove. We're going to crush them and then we're going to add our crushed pineapples. Now, some persons prefer to put it into a blender but I think I can use my hand just to do this step. Sweet potatoes are really rustic. Sometimes you will see some strings. This is just one of the characteristics of the batata or the sweet potato. I'm gonna add the crushed pineapple now. And it still has a bit of the juice in it. Try not to get in all of the juice right now. I'm gonna use that at the very end. Okay. So it's going to be totally combined, pineapple, sweet potato. Many persons use this as a special occasion dish, but for me, this is an all occasion dish. I don't need a special time to have this amazing sweet potato pie. Now we're going to add our cinnamon, ground spice and our nutmeg and our game changer the molasses and the molasses as it's dark it will also change the color of our sweet potato pie and it's going to give it a richer color you're going to get all of it in here this is made from the sugar cane so depending on what part of the world you are you may not be able to get molasses easily but if you can get it i absolutely recommend you're using molasses for your sweet potato pie. I'm going to continue to combine this time when everything is fully mixed. We're going to prepare to bake. So we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 375 degrees because we're going to bake it for about 45 minutes. Our sweet potato pie is now fully combined. You will see it still looks a little rustic. Now we're going to get ready to bake it. So we're going to put it into this dish here is fully greased and we're going to add our pineapple slices on top we can get it all in here okay we can get two dishes because we still have some left over but we're going to bake them all but i'm going to just decorate this one for you and then we're going to make sure it's nice and flat we're going to put the remainder in another dish. Then we're going to add our slices. 
Oh, it smells really good. Add just a pineapple, sweet potato pie. We're gonna just add some pineapples to the top. And we're gonna just add a couple of cherries to make it look all pretty. Remember the eye eats first, so you gotta make sure it looks good to the eye. I can slip another one in there. Now our pineapple sweet potato pie is ready for the oven. We're gonna bake it now, 375 degrees. Our pineapple sweet potato pie is done. I just took it out of the oven. It is still really hot, lovely crust on the outside, and it smells amazing. Now it's time for us to just get a little taste. It's firm, but I can still get a bit of it out. I just wanted to get just a taste. It smells really good. And I want to get a bit of that pineapple. Yep, just to add a little additional flavor. Mmm, it just smells so good. Many persons use this for special occasions, but I don't need a special occasion for sweet potato pie. It's still really hot. Mmm. So delicious. And the addition of the molasses, I told you, it just amps the flavor up. You don't have to use sugar. Many persons use sweet potato pie and add sugar. Once you use molasses, you don't have to add sugar and it's totally natural. Pineapple sweet potato pie. Now you need to try it. Now, if you enjoyed this sweet potato pie recipe as much as I did, you need to check out my other recipes that will pop in over here in a couple of seconds. And then you can just click below. You'll see a button that will pop up saying subscribe. You need to subscribe so you, and press the bell button so you are notified every time I post a video. And remember, leave a comment. I absolutely love hearing from you.